All right, so I'm currently on the phone with Chris. He's another musician that reached out about the interview series. So I'm going to go ahead and give him the chance to introduce himself. Hi, so my name is Chris Zavala, um, the founder and uh, rhythm guitarist for Bare Knuckle Brawl. And I'm happy to be here. Awesome. Thanks for joining us. Um, slash myself. <laughs> um, yeah. So with these interviews, kind of the objective is to kind of figure out how you got into music. What what was the connecting moment that kind of made you want to pursue a life with it? Yeah. So um, as long as I can remember, I mean, my, my father, you know, he'd always be playing electric guitar uh, when I was like, four years old, he had his own little stage and stuff. And, uh, he told me when I was about 10 years old, that if I can learn how to play a classical acoustic guitar, he'd buy me my first electric. So I tried and tried and tried, finally got to play somewhat decent on the classical. And, uh, my first electric guitar was a BC rich warlock. Mm, And, uh, it just took off from there. I've always been into thrash metal and heavy metal and all the good things. <laughs> okay. So what, what kind of music were you introduced as or introduced to, uh, you said your father kind of had his own stage. I assume he was playing music. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, he only really played on his own. He, he was never really like in a band or anything, but, uh, he did play and it was always like traditional heavy metal and like, 70s rock like um you know some rush uh led zeppelin uh black i mean um black sabbath all the classic old bands okay and the learning to play on a classical acoustic do you think that was what he went through when he was first learning guitar or what do you think the motivation behind that was uh i think for him so uh years later after i did ask him why he had me learn the classical first he told me that it was because he felt that uh, the neck on the classical guitar is thicker than the electric guitar, and that if I could get my fingers to get strong enough to play on the classical, that playing on the electric would be much easier. And I think he was right. (laughs) Okay. Uh, That was going to be my next question. Do you think that that methodology worked out for you? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, You know, and... Now that I look at it, the neck on the classical is kind of thicker than the electric guitar. So I think it really did help me. Now, when you say a classical acoustic guitar, are you referring to just like any old acoustic guitar or am I just kind of out of depth with this one? Okay, so like a classical, it's usually got nylon strings on it. Um, and, uh, so that's what I learned on. I don't remember what brand of guitar it was. I just, I just remember it was an old acoustic guitar. It had, you know, the nylon strings and everything. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. all right. So you, you mentioned that your first guitar was a, a BC Rich, um, mm-hmm. and that you're super into like thrash metal and metal music. What, what was kind of that connecting point once you kind of realized you wanted to do music? Um, how were you exposed to that type of music? So, uh, again, it goes back to my dad. He'd always sit me down and, uh, introduce me to like classical heavy metal or like not classical, but more traditional heavy metal, like, you know, Mm -hmm. Judas Priest, Iron Maiden and, and those kinds of bands. And, and I loved it. I soaked it all up. I would just sit there and listen and listen and listen. And, uh, you know, when I was younger, I'm, I'm a nineties kid. So for me at the time, uh, enter the Sandman by Metallica was like the heaviest thing that I thought mm-hmm. <laughs> was available. And, uh, I was showing my dad, I was like, Hey, have you ever heard this song by Metallica? He's like, yeah, they used to be way heavier with their first four albums. <laughs> and I was like, what? No way. I was, I was like, there's no way. And sure enough, he showed me ride the lightning and I was mm-hmm. just blown away. <laughs> and, um, for me, I know it's kind of, you know, cliche, but Metallica was really like my first really favorite thrash band, you know, and, you know, just kind of took off from there. And then, of course, I got into Megadeth. (laughs) Sure, of course, of course. Uh, All right. So um, how long do you think it took you uh, learning that type of music and learning electric guitar before you kind of reached the point where you're like, hey, I want to start playing with people? Well, wow, so it took me years. You know, um, my first electric guitar I got when I was 11 years old, and 
um, you know, I, I started off learning how to play things like ACDC and, you know, I mean, not saying that their stuff is easy or nothing, but it's way easier than some thrash metal stuff. And so I, I tried to start small and then I was also into like Papa Roach back then. And I tried to learn last resort and stuff. And, uh, just, you know, the older I got, the heavier, the music I was into. Mm-hmm. And, um, so I want to say once I was about 18 years old is when I finally said, yeah, I think I'm ready to play with somebody. I was already playing pretty fast and, uh, I had never really been in a band before. And, uh, so yeah. And I was about 18 years old when I joined my first band, uh, called Cataracts, but we never did anything or released anything mm-hmm. or played any shows, but that was my first experience. <laughs> sure. I, I imagine that was, you know, in a friend's garage or basement kind of thing, just plucking around, figuring it all yep. out. Exactly. Awesome. Very cool. Um, so how long did that go on for? Uh, you know, you mentioned you guys didn't really do anything, but did you at least kind of have some songs that you kind of played through whenever you guys got together? Yeah, we actually had uh, two songs. Um, I don't remember what we named them, but one of the songs was a riff that I came up with. And um, I actually, a little spoiler, <laughs> we're going to be hitting the studio in about. Uh, at the end of the month and um one of the songs we're going to be recording is is one of the riffs from from that (laughs) from that era of my guitar playing so it's going to be pretty cool yeah yeah bring it all full circle okay so uh you did some stuff with them kind of figured it all out got your feet wet what was the next move for you so we were together for about a year and uh nothing you know was coming about and You know, I, I, as an Aries, you know, sometimes I lose interest in stuff if it's not moving as fast as I'd like it to. So I just kind of, unfortunately, just stopped going to practice and stuff. And then um, after that, you know, I'm from a place where everybody tells you you have to work hard as an adult. So I kind of gave up on music, like playing with people. After that, I was just, you know, working and I played guitar for fun and stuff. And (laughs) it wasn't until October of last year that I actually formed this band and um and yeah so it was what what like 10 15 years or something like that <laughs> that I didn't play anything okay so you Until took recently. a a pretty lengthy hiatus away from it um what do you think was the main driving force to pull you back into it well um so my grandfather passed away and uh unfortunately. And when, when he passed away, I found myself in a really, really dark place for a little while. And, um, just out of nowhere, I just like something clicked and I wanted to, uh, play with some people. I was like, well, you know what, you know, I still feel like I can play and it's now or never, you know, cause I'm 30 years, uh, actually I'm 33 years old now. So I was like, I mean, if I'm going to do it, it's going to have to be now or never. So um, I reached out to somebody and they said that they were going to give me an audition, but they never reached out. So uh, no hard feelings. And then I started my own band and and uh, it kind of took off from there. Well, so let's talk about that now. You, you've gotten back into it. Uh, tell me about uh, the current project that you have and what you're working on. Yeah. So uh, the project that I'm con- I mean, that I'm doing now is uh, we're called Bare Knuckle Bra. We're a thrash metal band out of St. Paul, and uh, we have one single out that we put out earlier in the year um, called Divide and Conquer. And um, so, yeah, like we're just hitting the studio up at the end of the month, getting ready for two new uh, two new songs to be released. And we're working hard uh, and we're pretty solid. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, so uh, you mentioned you're in the studio. You've got some songs that you're putting out there. Uh, what do you kind of see for yourself after the album is done, once it's released? Is it you know gigging and hitting the road or immediately hitting the studio for album number two? What, what's kind of your long-term plan? So definitely I would like to start playing some shows. Um, but, you know, some of the guys in, in our band, is they're, they're kind of like pretty busy as in, like, you know, some of them are in other bands themselves. And so uh, we're, we're moving along. It's it's 
a, been a little bit of a process. We lost our drummer before the first single was released. And so now we have a new drummer and uh, he's been, you know, working with us on our songs and stuff. So we're getting everything pretty tight. And uh, definitely the next goal is to play some shows in St. Paul and Minneapolis. Awesome. Very cool. Um, all right. Well, what are some of your best memories of being around and living with music, whether it was, you know, your father's stage or, you know, the band you're in at 18, what's the stuff that kind of stands out to you? Just expressing myself, you know, being able to be with some people and, and play the music that I love. And, you know, um, it's just, it's always been a great outlet for me. Like whenever I'm upset or, or if things aren't really going my way, music's always been there for me. And it's been uh, wonderful, you know, for me to be able to release some stress whenever I need to. So yeah, I just, I love playing with people. The feeling I get, you know, it feels like my riffs come to life with the entire band. So I, I love it. Awesome. So a def uh, a heavy emphasis on playing with other people. Yeah, definitely. For sure. Very cool. Um, all right. Well, where can people find your stuff and check it out once it, once you uh, guys are ready to release? Yeah. So uh, currently we have one single available on all major platforms. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube Music, wherever you want to find it. Uh, Divide and Conquer is the song. And again, we're bare knuckle brawl. Uh, and it's going to be the same thing once we, once we release these next two songs. We're going to go ahead and uh, release it on all major platforms as well. Perfect. Um, and I always like to give the person I'm interviewing the opportunity to put out their last words. So a message you want to throw out there that you feel you resonate with. Yeah. So, uh, if you're at a show, don't be a douche, you know, don't punch anybody or kick anybody who's not looking for it. <laughs> um, and just be a good human being. <laughs> 